Happy Tuesday, everybody. This is Jennifer for uh, Tuesday, March 29th. Uh, I have to be really fast here because I have to leave to bring my son to preschool in about 10 minutes. But I do actually have a few things to share, and I wanted to share them because if I don't do them, I'm afraid I won't get around to it because I'm actually dropping off some of them at preschool this morning. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My son's class each colored a square. Um, representing what they wanted to be when they grew up and then um, they asked me if I would quilt it and so I did that I'd like to be able to show you the whole thing but there is a class picture on it and all the squares have their names and I didn't get the mom's um, other mom's permission to do that so I'm, I'm not gonna show the whole thing but I can just give you a glimpse of it this is it it's all done I used um, what I had remaining of this fabric for my Harry Potter quilt for the sashing and then I just used a bunch of um, kid fabric for these little squares in between each one. Um, there's Disney Princess, Thomas the Train, um, The Incredibles, you know just a bunch of random things and then the back is just like this bright green color because they didn't um, provide any fabric so I, I tried to use as much as I could of what I had in my stash so so that's all done. I'm really excited about that. My mom did help me with the quilting and the binding because I just don't sit well at a sewing machine right now. Um, and then the last mom who had a baby at preschool has been waiting very patiently for her set of booties, so I made those. Um, I found this pattern on Ravelry, and they were really cute in the picture. I'm not sure if I like them. My husband didn't like them. My mom didn't like them. I think it might be the colors, the blue and the brown together, but it took me a week to make these, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to make her another set, so I really hope she likes them, but we'll see. And then I did do the metal stamping, as I'm dropping pieces. Um, so I have a few more to do, but this one I just pounded and put a leaf over. I still have to get my chain too, I don't have any chain yet. Um, this one I did, I stamped my son's name in it and I put an amper stand in the middle. This side over here will be, um, I'll put baby's name in when we know what it is, so, <laughs> which will be when it's born. And then I just put love on the second one. Yeah. What? How you doing? I'll be up in a minute. And then I did this one. It says Dream, Love, Live. So that was a lot of fun. Um, block of the week, I was doing really good keeping up on, but I haven't done this week's um, this Hedwig. I haven't done Hedwig yet. But um, this is my week eight. This is my week nine. And this is my week 10. And um, these are the fabrics that I got for Hedwig. This will be some of Hedwig. And this will be the book. It's like a purple. It's hard to see. But that's it. And I really got to run. So um, this will probably be my last Talk To Me Tuesday until after baby's born. I got about three and a half weeks to my due date. Um, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful Easter. Um, happy early birthday to Ophenden. I know your birthday is at the end of April. So if I miss it... Here's my happy birthday to you, <laughs> and um, I hope you guys are all doing really well, so I will talk to you later. Bye.